Welcome to Tech Solution. Configuring a Linksys Smart Wi Fi Router to Bridge Mode with Verizon Fios. Before configuring your router to bridge mode, make sure you have the following An active internet connection with your Verizon Fios modem router, a router with Linksys Smart Wi Fi Web Interface. Once the router is set to bridge mode, some of its features will be disabled. The router will not have the DHCP server functionality while the built-in firewall and NAT features will no longer take effect. To set up the router to bridge mode, follow the steps given ahead. Connect an Ethernet cable from your computer to any of the numbered ports at the back of the Linksys router. Do not connect anything to the Internet port for now. Plug the power adapter to an electrical outlet and into the Linksys router. Launch your web browser and enter 192.168.1.1 or myrouter.local in the address bar. Press Enter. You will be prompted to access the router. Enter the router's administrative password default as admin and click Sign In. Click Connectivity. Click the Internet Settings tab and click Edit. Set the type of internet connection to bridge mode. Set the IP address configuration for your router. There are two IP address configurations for your router. 1. Obtain an IPv4 address automatically. Select this if you want your Verizon Fios modem router to provide an IP address for your Linksys router. 2. Specify an IPv4 address recommended. Select this if you want to specify a static IP address. To do so, enter the information for your internet IPv4 address, subnet mask, default gateway, and DNS entries. Click the Apply button located at the lower right corner of the page. On the warning screen, click Yes. Your router is now set to bridge mode. Connect the modem, router gateway to the internet port of the Linksys router. Once your router detects that there is internet access, it will give you an internet restored prompt. Click Yes. You will be redirected to the Linksys Smart Wi-Fi sign-in page. If you already created a Linksys Smart Wi-Fi account, enter your login credentials on the email address and password fields and click Sign In. Once you have logged back into your router, you can now proceed with securing your wireless network. Thanks for watching.